Canva is a design tool that's all browser-based and it's taking the world by storm, especially with small business owners, entrepreneurs, content creators, and yes, even churches. This is because it gives you the ability to make really high quality like Photoshop type graphics with almost no experience, very easily, very quickly. But you might be thinking, my church doesn't need any fancy graphic design work. Why would we use Canva? Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna answer today. Let's do this. How's it going everybody? My name is David. I'm the head video editor here at ReachRite and I do serve here and there on the creatives team at my own church. And since I'm not a graphic designer, Canva has been a lifesaver. But this video is just one of many that we like to release here at ReachRite every single week. And it's specifically designed to help out churches just like yours. So if you're interested in that kind of content, please feel free to hit that subscribe button so you can be notified every single time that we release a video. Like I stated before, Canva is a free design tool that's all browser based. So you don't need to install any apps or anything like that. And you can jump on the platform and really start testing things out to see what it's all about without paying a single cent. That being said though, I do use Canva Pro, which is a paid service. It's $120 a year. And they also have an option for Canva for Teams, which allows five people access on the same team. I do recommend investing in the pro version of Canva because it's completely worth it. But if you want, you can still just try out the free version to see what it's all about before you go ahead and make the purchase. This video is not sponsored in any way. I just find that Canva has saved me countless hours in frustration that I would try to do in other expensive apps for not even close to as good of a result. That being said, let's get into our first example of how churches can be using Canva. The first thing that Canva is extremely useful for is making quote graphics. I'm sure your pastor's sermons are great and maybe people even rewatch them during the week when it's on your website. But even still, it can be helpful to take those really powerful moments, those moments that are quotable, and kind of throw them up as a reminder on social media to be an encouragement for those that are just scrolling along on their feed. And just making a simple text post on Facebook or Twitter, or I guess it's X now, doesn't seem to be that impactful. To start off, one of the best things about Canva is that it has so many different templates that you can start off with and then customize, and it really saves you a ton of time. So that's what we're gonna do with this quotation graphic. So what I like to do is simply just search for quote and then pick one that looks pretty good. It doesn't have to be perfect because remember, you are going to be customizing this. Just pick one that looks pretty good and just know that you can go from there and change whatever you want. On the left hand side, you'll see all of your different tabs that you can kind of go through to make this graphic exactly how you want it, such as design or elements. And that's something important to keep in mind for all of the different examples that we go through today. But you will be spending the majority of your time in either the design tab or the elements tab. Design is much like the name implies going to be where you find most most of the different designs or templates that you can go off of. And elements also like their name are specific graphical elements that you can add in to your graphic to really make it exactly how you want. You can obviously also add text, change the font, change the size and all of that good stuff. So when you have that quote from your pastor that you really liked from the sermon, go ahead, change the text, find the font that you'd like. And then when it's ready to go, it also gives you different export options. And most of us are gonna be exporting either JPEG or PNG files. Another important thing to note is that Canva lets you resize anything to your heart's desire. Most of these templates are already in the size that you want, but in case they aren't, use this resize option and you don't have to know the exact parameters or dimensions if you're not really sure. It actually has these kind of cheat sheet guides like Instagram post or Facebook post to really help you get this job done. The next way that your church should be using Canva is something that has helped me out tremendously. And that would be YouTube thumbnails. I don't know if you can relate to this or not, maybe it's just me, but making YouTube thumbnails has always been so much of a headache for me. I'd spend literal hours in Photoshop or Illustrator or a combination of the two only for something to not even look that good when I was done with it. That is until I use Canva. Now Canva has tons of templates for YouTube thumbnails. At a minimum, even if you don't enjoy that style that much, it's still a great base point to work from and it'll save you a ton of time. And I highly recommend getting some nice headshots of your pastor or maybe you have a good enough live stream where you can capture some stills from them actually preaching. Because one of the most useful things for making YouTube thumbnails in Canva is that you can simply take a picture of your pastor or the speaker or whoever you want in the thumbnail and just remove the background. Just go to the uploads tab, you can upload any kind of photos that you want or video even. And then once it's uploaded, you simply just drag and drop. Then you can shrink and enlarge and position the person exactly where you want in the thumbnail. And then when that's done, all you have to do is click effects and then background remover. Beyond that, you can even add a little stroke outline to them if you want. 
I like to usually add a little glow effect behind them too to really make them stand out. So I go to elements, type in glow, and there's tons of ones to pick from, and then I can just position it behind the person. I use Canva every single week for reach rights thumbnails. I use Canva for the thumbnail on this video right now. It saves me a ton of time and something that used to take me literal hours can sometimes, when I'm really on the ball, take me somewhere between two and five minutes. The next way that your church can be using Canva is for event flyers. Like I stated before, I'm not a graphic designer, so anytime my church needs to make something pretty to actually print out and hand to people, whether it be like an invite card or an event flyer for an event we have coming up, I always get a little bit stressed out. We all know that presentation isn't everything, but everybody likes a nice looking invite to something. And Canva gives you tons of templates for that. The other nice thing is if you're like me, it's hard to get all of the information for an event to look good into one design. That's why a lot of people have been using QR codes lately. And in Canva, once you have your QR code, just like uploading your own photos of your pastor, you can upload those QR codes and also add them. And once again, I know that flyers come in many different shapes and sizes, literally, and resizing your graphics on Canva is extremely easy. Number four is something that I didn't even think about until my church just decided to start doing it. You can use Canva for your series graphics. Whenever your pastor starts a series and you know you're gonna spend at least a few weeks in that series, it makes sense to have a nice looking graphic that you can throw up onto the screens in the middle of service or even use for social media to remind people of the series that you're in. And beyond that, it's nice to incorporate that series graphic into everything that you show. So for example, at my church, we use ProPresenter and we have the series graphic, but then any time that my pastor wants to use a scripture reference and puts it up onto the screen, now we can use kind of that series graphic background as the scripture references. This means you can have that really nice series graphic that you made that has all the crazy text and maybe colors or photos and everything like that. And you can actually strip away the majority of the things taking that front and center spotlight position, but still use that kind of theme for your scripture references. It's just a nice way to make everything look like it belongs together on the screens without having to design something new every single time your pastor wants to use a scripture. And the last way that your church could be using Canva is actually something that I've been toying with for a while and trying to figure out, okay, what is the best use for video on Canva? Yes, that's right, Canva is actually a video editor. Now, if you need to be doing some heavy lifting or you need the editor to be able to do a lot of different things, I would still recommend either DaVinci Resolve or CapCut, they're both free. And there's more alternatives as well that you can check out. I made a whole video about it earlier on this channel, but I did discover something that's technically video editing that Canva's really good at. And that would be your announcement slides. At my church, we've kind of implemented a whole rotation or carousel in the sanctuary before service actually starts on just all the different announcements or reminders of things that we want our congregation to know before service actually starts. And we just have it on a rotation on all of the screens in the sanctuary. And I realized Canva is really good at this. So Canva's video editing, like I stated before, is pretty limited. It's kind of restricted when it comes to what you normally think about with traditional video editing. However, it makes like motion graphics that you can also use for social media. So if you don't just want a static graphic that looks good, you can actually add some animation to it, bring some life into it. Canva will let you all in one project make multiple pages of this kind of video animation. And what I found out is that this is great for having different announcements happening at your church, just kind of on this rotation. This way you can put this little carousel of videos on a loop and it will look really nice and the viewers will kind of just have that that stimulation of things moving on the screen as it cycles through announcements instead of just a still picture, a graphic info, whatever it may be, just kind of on this non-stop slideshow. It just makes it nice and integrative and flow really well. Now this video was specifically for ideas of ways that you can use Canva for churches. So I know I didn't have like a tutorial or an in-depth how-to for any of these points. So if that's something that you're interested in, please let me know in the comments down below because I'd love to do an in-depth video on any of these topics. However, I will save you some time and say that if you're looking at making YouTube thumbnails in Canva or you really are just wondering how to actually use Canva step by step, I did make a video on how to create a YouTube thumbnail in Canva already, which will give you a ton of ideas. But again, if you want me to go in, in, in depth in any of these ideas that I've already talked about, please let me know in the comments down below. If there's any ideas that I didn't list in this video, let me know those in the comments as well. But otherwise, we'll speak to you next time.